Hello everybody, welcome to Dave's Skillet. Today we're going to make Spanish rice. We'll have mushrooms, bell peppers, we'll have onions, tomato sauce, beef, I'll be using a chicken bouillon cube, pepper, salt, just a little bit of salt, not a lot, and some uh, chili peppers. So we'll get started and be having a real nice dinner. We're going to get this on the road. I need to get this pan heated up. Put about a tablespoon of oil in. And we'll get this rice on the show. Gotta wash this off. Get all the excess starch out of it. Almost forgot to put some garlic in here. Oh, that wouldn't be any good. Spanish rice, my fave. Gonna use about a tablespoon of garlic. You can put more, you can put less. Up to you, up to your taste buds. Me, I kind of like it. So I'm going to put a little bit more in it. I think that's about a tablespoon, more or less. Okay, now. Yep, it's hot. You've seen me do this before. Nothing's changed really. It's the same way. I put some salt, pepper, and a chicken bouillon cube in here. I'm also going to put in some tomato sauce. Six ounces. No, eight ounces. What am I saying? Six. I've got six on my head. Okay. And eight ounces of water. There we go. Give that a stir. Give this a stir. <laughs> so we're going to start to burn and stick because it wants to. Okay. Just going to toast this a bit. I like mine. We got toasty edge on it. There we go. That's all stirred up. Now I cook things a little bit differently. I, I don't add all the ingredients to this pot here, to the skillet. I'm going to cook the rest of it over here. The meat, the ground beef, the onions, the mushrooms, the bell peppers, the jalapeno peppers I'm going to throw in here are all going to go in this pot first. Which i got to put a 
drop of oil in that one too. That's enough. Not too much. Now, keep working this. That's when you hear it boils for 10 minutes, as you remember if you watched the first video I did on making the rice, perfect rice. Just gonna boil it for 10, and then let it simmer for 10. When you let it simmer, you cover it. Do not remove the cover. You let it do its thing. It's gonna go in there, that's gonna go in there. That's cold. Oof, my water is ice cold. I wonder if that's to do something with the snow around here. I do this in stages. And once this gets done, when the, when the rice is done, then I will take the other ingredients and add it to the rice once the rice is done. I don't want to confuse the rice with other ingredients until that happens. I know there won't be a problem, but you never know. Things get crazy. Put that on seven in the back. That's number seven. This one here is number six. No, six and a half. No, five and a half, sorry. Five and a half. This front skillet will go down to low once I cover it. Getting there. I need a drink. Mm. Uh. I'm gonna need that in a minute. Okay, that's ready for the liquid. Pour all that in there. Watch out for the steam coming back at you. Whew. I want that cloud hit you because that will not feel nice. It gets you. Okay. Looks like I need just a tad bit more pepper in there. I'll need more than that until after it's served up. And that's everybody else wanting whatever they want on it. Okay. Then i got to set the timer. Ten minutes. Get me top. And let it go. And we got to boil this the whole time. Keep stirring it. You don't want to stop stirring this one. Make sure that bouillon cube breaks down. This brand usually does fairly well. Stoller shop special. I'm gonna lower this down to three. Because it's really splattering the heck out of here. And I don't want it to do that. I don't want to cover it. Because I need it to boil. I'm really getting plastered. That's too hot back there. I'm going to put that down to four. Whew. That is really hot. Hmm. Cooked up. I'm not going to add any salt to that. Just going to put a bit of pepper in it. Because the rice will be salty enough. You're not going to need any additional. And that's just about cooked up. I'm going to add the onion and garlic to it. I'm going to add 
Starting to get sticky down here, so yep, got to keep it moving. Yeah, that's not so bad now. Now it's not splattering the heck out of me. So three is the temperature I'm using right now in the front. I will still drop it to low when I cover it. I got about eight minutes to go here. any luck my star ingredients on the back burner will be ready to go in here when this is done and then it's going to be real good and then I will cover it with a layer of cheddar cheese and nachos Ooh, yeah You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can leave the cheddar cheese off it. Completely up to you how you want to do that. I'm going to have to drain this meat a bit. Because I don't want to add a bunch of oily grease. It's just about ready. So I'm going to drain that now. I'm not catching a cold. I was outside today. Went to see a movie, Rogue One. All I can tell you is go see it. OMG. If you like Star Wars, you're going to love this. I don't want to tell you anything about it. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but just go. And I don't freely give out movie advice unless it's that good. Oh, yeah, get that all blended up into there. There we go. Just let that go. Stir this some more. I may have to add a bit more water to this. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to just drop. And that should do it. I don't want to go overboard because i got five more minutes to go and it's going to dry out. I didn't add that. It's the uh, tomato sauce. It doesn't work the same way water works. It's thicker, thicker consistency, and when you heat it up, it's going to turn to paste. It's going to reduce down, so you'll have to be mindful of it. And I know it gets down to um, your altitude. It's got a lot to do with it, so I'm not quite sure what line is. I think I'm sea level or below. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I don't remember. I've not lived here in years, so I've been here in years. Yeah, here in Chicago, in case you didn't know. Anybody know what the uh, sea level here in Chicago is? Let me know. Leave it in the comment section. Okay, I'm going to put that back up to four and a half on the rear burner. And I'm going to drop the front burner down to two. I don't want to over, overdo this. I'm going to add this now. And my peppers are going to go right in. Just like that. Oh, that's looking good. I like the color. That's looking good. Oh, yeah. God, I got a heck of a mess to clean up here on the stove. Oh, my gosh. What have I done? Mm. It was clean. 
It ain't clean now. Alright. But it's smelling good. I think this is the best way to do it. I really do. Adding all the ingredients from the get-go, not so smart. I don't think so, because the peppers, you can overcook them and then they'll be mush. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. I'm getting there. Oh, what a sloppy mess I've made. Oh my gosh. Let me drink. It almost looks like it needs more pepper, but I know it don't. It's so many little tiny bubbles. I'm steering my vision of it. I won't know until after it's done. <laughs> eh, I'll do a taste test then. Then we'll see. Hmm. we got about two minutes. Keep stirring this thing. Might have to add another drop of water, actually. Yeah, just a little bit. It's starting to reduce down too much. I just put another third, third, one third cup of water in there. Or you can put two tablespoons of water in there. Don't put a whole lot because you don't want to drown it. You drown it and you'll wreck it. So be careful with the water. You don't want it to be like a gravy. You want it to be a bit thin, but you don't want it to be too thin. It's almost going to be like gravy-like consistency. Yeah, we're getting there. One minute to go. Oh, uh, well, well, maybe not a minute to go. So we drop it down to low. All right. Cover it. I'm glad I just stirred it, too. Set it for 10 minutes. Right? 10 minutes. And the rice will be done. This is stir on the back burner, get everything incorporated within itself. I bet that's going to taste so good. I'm not even putting spices in here yet, but I'm going to. I might add a little bit of spice to that. We'll see. I'm thinking about it. We'll be right back. Ten minutes. Two seconds for you. Also with the spices, you're going to want to add about two tablespoons of chili powder. Yep, you can put that right in with the liquid or when the rice is done. And I used a tablespoon of this stuff. That might be a bit much for some people's tastes, crushed red peppers. I like it hot, so if you like it hot, you're going to want that. That makes it really hot. I also put in a, a whole tomato diced it up and threw it in at the end and um, yeah that's pretty much all of it olives those are optional you can put those on top I've, I'm gonna add the olives on top when I'm done with something like this and with the cheese and everything so yeah that's how I do it you can put black olives you can put green olives I prefer black but sometimes I add both it's up to you Okay, I've added uh, a teaspoon of cumin, Mexican oregano, onion powder, and garlic powder to this, to the ingredients. But it needs a little bit of salt. I took a taste of it. And I blend it without that, so we'll do that. Get out a mixer. I'll have to take another taste. stove's completely off. I turned this off about five minutes ago so I don't overcook it. I don't want to overcook anything. Now let's see what we got. Huh. Mm. Okay. 
That should do it. Oh, that's it. Okay. This is done. Oof. Steam my head off. Now, take a little sample of it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have salt, and because of it, things can be a bit on the bland side. That's okay, because then you can add as you like. And you don't want to add it, and then someone else in, in your family doesn't like it because you've added too much. You can just say, well, there's not going to be much salt in there, so knock yourself out. Okay, that looks pretty good, actually. Let me get a sample of that. And then we're going to dump in the other stuff. Mm. Oh. 100%. And then, I add this stuff. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Put all that into it. Give it a good mix about. This will help my runny nose today. Now, if there's something something else you want to add to something like this, you can do that. You can put whatever kind of chili peppers you want, habaneros, anything, whatever you like. Ghost chilies, not me. <laughs> Jalapenos are good enough for me. I don't think I want to go beyond that. That looks good. That is looking good. Now we'll take a sample of that. I hear the mariachis already. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. There's only one thing that's... <laughs> you know what's coming. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta do it. I gotta do it, Louisiana. That's just me. That's the way I roll. Now you don't have to do that. <clears throat> I was debating about putting some Cajun seasoning in here. Still mine. It ain't over yet. I can live with that. Hmm. Yep. I can live with that. Now I need a plate. Try, you know what that means. Plate up time. So I get a bit of that. This is kind of my dinner. save a bit of that for tomorrow because that's going to be so so good oh. don't you wish mm -mm -mm. yes perfect yep enjoy my friends bon appetit please join subscribe give me a like everything Thank you very much.